Hey guys, welcome to Show Revolt Vlog number 66. It's been months since I updated the Show Revolt Vlog. Um, it's now 49,500 miles. And just a quick update on all this other fun stuff. It's already been two years since I've won the Show Revolt and adding about roughly 25,000 miles a year. As you can see, I'm peeling off the bumper pasta dip that I added before to protect my bumper. It's protected from a lot of sand, scuffs, and everything because I've been driving through deserts and everything else to Northern California. And just doing a lot of uh, national park, um, you know, hiking and stuff like that and bring my bikes over this thing. So it's actually protected the back um, bumper from a lot of stuff over the over the whole, you know, 12, 16 months of ownership. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth it to put a um, some sort of way to protect the rear bumper. Otherwise, it's scratched up. And most of you guys will probably lease the car, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but in case you're interested or wondering, yes, it does help and basically... Uh, sun does affect plastic dip and make sure you put a very thick coat because it's easier to pull off areas that were thin um, Or apply very thin coats were more difficult to take off and basically had little fragments that stuck onto it Which I had to rub with my finger to take off not very fun, but at the same time after about I think it took me like around what? Um, 25 minutes to take off this old plastic dip um, It's actually pretty useful. It protects the bumper pretty well and there you have it. That's about it so after cleaning it off, there's still a little bit so I clean off later and I basically got a brush and put a really, really heavy coat, uh, coat of plastic dip for the bumper again because I think it's quite useful. I did not mask it at all, which is kind of, I kind of regret that, but I didn't mask it at all because I just had to go to another road trip or another trip up to uh, Northern California. So I just quickly painted it back on and there you have it. For the front, the plastic dip is still holding up. Um, not bad. It's been holding up pretty well. A major thing was that I changed out my tires. The energy saver tires that I originally had were wearing down. In fact, they were down to about, I think, um, 3.30 seconds. And, you know, I could barely, you know, I, I started to chirp. The tires started to chirp and started to, the traction control hit more than often. So I said, eh, I might as well change it out now. There was a few sales going on during the summer, and that's why I bought it. Um, again, I used to have the, I did have one uh, Premier AS. That was a uh, extra load one that I bought for it because one of my uh, energy saver popped or had a nail that couldn't be fixed. So the Premier AS kind of sucks because I only got about 30,000 miles and still had about the same wear as a 46,000 mile um, uh, energy saver. So I didn't really, that was kind of sad. Uh, and so what I did was I went to Costco, bought myself, that there was a $129 off deal for the tires for Bridgestone. So I bought, bought myself some uh, four sets of Bridgestone Serenity Plus extra load tires why did i buy Toronza uh serenity plus it was because i bought it for my accord too my 07 accord i bought it it came new with 12 30 seconds and now after like 40,000 miles it still has 8 30 seconds or 9 30 seconds of um of, of meat on that tire so it's a long wearing you know high traction tire um it's a green product they say it's green product but i to be honest i can't tell the mpg hit and i'll talk about that later I, to test it out, basically, after I got the tires installed, I went on a road trip to Northern California using the 101, and there was a lot of beautiful scenery. I left really early, visited uh, the hills of, um, um, went to Solvang, and also went to Avila Beach, drove along the canyons of California, and it was just really fun driving with this tire, unlike the um, energy savers, which squeaked and was kind of like, you know, it was, it was kind of soft. I even though I've added more PSI to it, the these uh, Serenities actually felt really good uh, compared to the Energy Savers, and it was better traction, really really good ride, um, and it, these are extra loads. So I actually went to up to 50 PSI. I did visit uh, Pinnacles National Park. Uh, Balcony's uh, Cave Trail was really fun. It was only about two miles, so that was a pit stop I spent about two or two and a half hours at. I basically went with a bunch of um, other people going through there and. Eventually, I went up to Northern California, where I went to a adoption fair and met a lot of kitty cats, and you know, basically helped out. That's really about it for those tires. They were really good. I have about close to about two, what, almost two thousand miles on those tires now, and it's only been about what a little over a month or so. So really nice tires. They are heavier. These are about 22, 23 pounds for each tire. The original energy savers were like twenty. And how much of a hit do I get? I have, I basically, my EV range has went from probably 53 when I drive really aggressively, when fully charged to about 
49 or 50. So there's a little bit of a hit. Each kilowatt, uh, each mile costs a little bit more kilowatt hours, but at the same time in California, it's been hitting 100 degrees pretty often right now. So that might have also impacted as well. And the fact that I drive very spiritually, um, it that's my rate right now. I have 2.75 kilowatt hours to, basically 13 kilowatt hours to 47 miles. Um, not bad still. I assume if I got energy savers, it would have been much better. But considering the cost, these were, and the, the wear rate, these were kind of better. Um, well, probably not. If you, if you actually had to pay for gas, it probably won't be a thing. These, this key, make sure you know the key fob and how to change the battery because I changed it out for the second time using a uh, new 2032 cell batteries. Um, it basically said it couldn't see the key and I basically had to put the key in the center console so that I could see it while I'm driving. So I didn't want the car to turn off or anything else like that um, while I was driving up and down Northern California. The light is my next project for this thing. The cargo area light sucks. It really sucks bad. Um, basically, um, yet nighttime I was trying to get some tools, couldn't see it at all. So I had to get a flashlight on and do it. So I'm gonna see if I can wait to up that light or something else. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Please hit the notification bell and click like, subscribe for more. Show you vote vlog. See you next time, bye-bye.